Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2016. It's uh, almost four o'clock in the afternoon on the east coast of the United States. I give you the date because we do this every single day. And uh, on the weekends, we do it a little later in the afternoon. Um, and on the weekdays, we do it right before 11 o'clock. I'm realizing that that motivation to have a discussion with you guys and then run out to work, I'm so happy to talk to you. It's just a pleasure. The weekends are tough because <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze in some free time. It's been a real tough weekend too. And I'm playing around with this new camera and it's fail after fail after fail. Then my Cleveland Browns, my beloved Cleveland, well, first, my beloved Cleveland Indians are doing well in the World Series. I'm scared to watch them because I jinx every Cleveland Browns, uh, I mean, every Cleveland sports team, but I have my fingers crossed. But the Browns are the Browns. They start out destroying a team, and then second half, they lose it. So I'm going to do this. I turned off the uh, football game in a huff. Figured I better do this now or I'll never get to it, <laughs> seriously. So um, let's do this. This is to make me happy. I'm about ready to run out of doors as well. I've got to get out of here. I called a friend and said, I'm getting out of here. Uh, <laughs> so I will be doing that. This, what you see in front of you, is what I'm going to fill my pockets with. It's Sunday. Sunday is also usually a big knife day. I didn't take a big knife down when I got my blue apron out of the mailroom. Didn't want to disappoint them. I was just running around and forgot it. So uh, instead, as I was walking out the door to go downstairs to the mailroom, I grabbed one of my new knives that I'm going to show you as the knife that got away. And they were, <laughs> needless to say, we didn't do a lot of cutting with the knife. They, I said, you can grab it. It's a knife. You can flip it. It's fun. <laughs> it was something different for them. Uh, so we'll go back to the big knife next weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was my new Todd bag and they were holding it. I go, you know, you can actually, it's a real knife. It, it's, a, you know. Anyway, let's talk about uh, the pocket dump deconstruction. That's why we're here. So here's the thing, fail after fail with this uh, camera. And the reason it's failing is because of this black background here. I use the black background on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. I've been using it for almost two years. And the only reason I use it is because it's just a desk topper. <laughs> it's inexpensive, you wipe it down when it gets dirty. Um, so it's nothing real fancy. It's easy. My setup is easy with the lights and the iPhones. I have two of them and it's just real easy. None of that works with my new camera. So I'll have to just rethink everything. Here's the deal. We're going to do the uh, Spyderco Palooza with the regular setup. I'll try to, you know, get the knives closer We'll try to, I'll try to spend a little bit more time, but we need to get that Palooza going or I'm going to lose interest, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I owe you guys a Palooza and I want to get all of my Spyderco collection on tape. So we're going to start that next week, okay? And we're going to do it with the same setup. I apologize. I'm going to continue to play with the camera. I spent a lot of money on it. Um, and once we get that, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, but I think it's time we're never going to get through hundreds of Spydecos if I keep putting it off and trying to do something special that's just not working. All right. Does that sound okay to you guys? Give me a thumb up if that sounds okay. So starting uh, this week, we're going to start going through Spydecos. Yay. It is Sunday. This is my carry for today. Uh I'm going to take my iWatch, my Apple Watch, not iWatch. This, by the way, someone asked me, this is the first Apple Watch, not the second. Didn't do a second one. I was I was fine with the first one uh, just to keep in touch with the football scores and stuff. Uh, I'm in fantasy football. Thank goodness. Now I'm even losing fantasy football, but I'm doing pretty well this season with fantasy football. 
And since real football has been a bummer, I'll tell you, this has been a horrible football season for everybody, hasn't it? Just horrible. Anyway, that's where we are. That's the Apple Watch so I can keep track of uh, the scores while I drink and smoke cigars. Speaking of cigars, you could tell when I need to be pepped up by the uh, cigar that I picked. This is a big, expensive one, and it smokes so well. I I, I had to get several of these um, Wow, I just love it. It's a Cohiba. It's a limited edition, aged from 2011, and just a wonderful smoke. And man, I need it. You know what I need is a vacation is what I need. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but let's continue. And, and actually, talking to you guys, man, it, you guys don't know. It makes me feel a lot better. So I'm getting all frustrated by the football game, frustrated by playing with the new camera, frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. My house is a mess, frustrated, frustrated. And I said, let me plug in the cameras and, and shoot the pocket dump deconstruction. That always makes me feel better. That's true. Truth. Truth. No reason to lie to you guys. So thank you for being there. Um, one of my fan Mont Blanc uh, wallets... <laughs> I am doing uh, McAllen. Yeah. You know what? Good single scotch should not be put in a flask unless you're me and you like to brag about what you have in your flask, which you're with your friends. Oh, they're going to love this stuff. <laughs> so I love McAllen. You know what? McAllen isn't a sponsor. And usually I go, oh, it's the blue stuff. It's this, it's this. But I love McAllen so much, um, all of it, uh, that I'll mention their name because I just love their booze. And that should make me feel good. The, the coin for today is uh, another one of the pandas. It's a 1995 um, panda. That's my lucky silver coin. I'll, I always carry a one-ounce silver coin. Um, my grandfather always carried a silver dollar and it, it stuck out. It was always a great time when my grandfather reached in his pockets and pulled out one of the silver dollars. I did a lot of collecting, um, eight years ago, I started collecting coins. I had every silver coin and a bunch of the collections, all of the pandas, all of, and then silver shot up to $50 an ounce. Do you hear me? Gold was at close to 4,000 an ounce. Yeah. Uh, silver right now, I don't know, under 20 bucks, 13, 14. I don't know. I haven't checked recently. And gold, again, is way down from that. That only happened once before. So I sold all my silver, but kept the pieces that I really like, some special pieces. This is one of them. Uh, Chinese Panda, 1995. And that's what I carry uh, now. Yeah, this looks like the other <laughs> coin claw, claw coin knife that I usually carry. I don't know. I should have brought that out to show you the difference. No, this is a new one. Just got it yesterday from Serge Bachanko, directly from him. Uh, I got the other one directly from him, the mid tech. This is a mid tech too. Um, a couple of things are a lot, a couple of things are different from this one. And thank, uh, Serge isn't watching me, but I, I, he's one of my favorite makers. He's so creative. He's just so creative. And I, am really stuck on these claw coins. He's on Instagram. I follow him. He says, hey, I've got a bunch of coins to everyone on Instagram. That's another reason I like them. And uh, I always rush. Most of the times I miss them. And I was just looking up some information on his site and saw that this one, a, a, a claw coin that he just finished, he, he gets his parts, uh, some of them made, I want to say Iowa. And then he fits them and uh, antiques them and does the stone washing and everything. Uh, that's why it's a mid-tech. He handles all of the finishing and stuff 
but doesn't do all of the blades. Couple of things different. And he said, yes, Kevin, I've got it. And he sent it, thank you. Um, this is S35 VN steel. The last one was not, uh, which is really nice. Brass. So where you see with the pivot, you see the stop right here. It's all brass. My other one is all um, titanium. The rest is a nice titanium, a nice tumbled titanium. And look at that brass. You see what I mean? It, this thing looks like it's been around forever, doesn't it? It is a slip joint, one inch blade. Uh, again, this one is S35 VN steel. Um, it just works. I love it. You know, right here, you can keep control of it. Again, a small handy knife. You can wear it as a medallion. You can just throw it in your pocket as a coin, right? Most people, when they see it on my keychain, they don't even know that it's a knife. Uh, when I do that, they're fascinated by it. I always have to go, can I have my keys back now? Can I have my keys? What a wonderful keychain knife and a special one too. That's the claw coin from Serge Pachanko. Just brand new. Just got it in yesterday. So happy to have another one. Ah, let's take these off of my Word notepad. You guys should check those out. If you love the field notes, you'll love the Word. I, I got them from Amazon a while ago because I love my field notes. I always carry a notepad with me and uh, these just come in all kinds of different colors and stuff. But the same quality, I think. Not that I'm an expert in uh, notebooks. Actually, not that I'm an expert in knives, but I like them. The medium knife, <laughs> Chris Reeve Manundi. Oh, this one is the Gabin Ebony Manundi, which I just love. It has the Devin Thomas Raindrop Damascus Blade. I love the Manundis. I really do. Titanium, and then they have these inlays with that wood. So, Chris Reeve introduced four new woods, um, introduced another ebony, introduced a number of things. Uh, I will probably not get all of the woods unless I can get them in enco small encoses. We'll see. Some of them kind of look like the older woods to me. I know they're different. I'm just not an expert in it. There's a couple that I just love. Um, so well, we'll be getting new knives from Chris Reeve. I'm excited about the small and cozy, and I'm excited about a lot of the new configurations that Chris Reeve's coming up with. This is the Manundi. I just love it. It's so classy. It is just a classy gentleman's folder. Someone left a comment saying, you know, I'm getting close to getting uh, some Devin Thomas Damascus and good for you. Some people don't like Damascus blades, think they're too fancy. I love them. I think it does dress up the knife. They're functional as well. Uh, I just love it. It just adds a little oomph to it. Of course, all of the Manundis, very nice. That's what Manundi stands for in Zulu. Very nice. Has that Chris Reeve integral frame lock that kind of looks like... <laughs> A liner lock doesn't it but it's not I really love the titanium clip it's just so well done it's a fancy knife it really is um, but a decent size knife as well it really is a real nice knife 2.7 inches yeah again raindrop Damascus Gavin ebony it's the Manundi from Chris Reeve, from Chris Reeve Knives. Oh, man. And I haven't carried my silent soldiers, any of them, in so long. I have a um, video on this channel of my silent soldier collection from Browse Blades. Love Browse Blades. He's one of my original 
um, guys that I go to, I went to when I started collecting. I just loved, he was young, still is young, um, dynamic, he was just on the rise. Uh, I bought every single Silent Soldier that he had. Uh, I have a collection of Silent Soldiers. The originals, which were carbon fiber with a hole in the blade that you put your finger through. Um, I have three of the neck knives, all different variations. I'm one of the few people that have three of the very, very rare, rare uh, titanium uh, Silent Soldier folders uh, without the hole in them, the original titaniums. He only made a hundred of them. I have three. <laughs> um, the blacked out, um, the uh, uh, satin, and the uh, acid stonewash. Very rare. Three out of a hundred of the knives that I really love. Heavy, nice titanium. Go check out that... Um, uh, collection video. I think if you don't know about Browse Blades, you should. What he did was he brought the Silent Soldier folder back, but he made it XL, extra large, just like all of my shirts. <laughs> no, actually, it's not like all of my shirts. <laughs> Three times extra large is like all of my shirts. Yeah, I'm a big guy. Got to get off that couch, right? Um, that's me flipping. I'm, I apologize. There you go. It flips very nicely. I love it. I love the curve of it. I love that acid stone wash uh, blade, that Warren Cliff shape. Everything about it. This is the XL. It's titanium, which is uh, tumbled a little. That black blade, no hole, which I love. Um, it's light. It's real light. He really carved out uh, and skeletonized the frame log. You can't get it on a good picture of it, but it's really skeletonized. See-through construction. He has that deep carry pocket clip. And the other thing he did, I mean, these are this is really light. I mean, when you talk about the original folders without the hole, those things were nice and heavy. I like, I like the heft of it. But you notice you don't see me putting those in my pocket a lot. So I get it. People were saying, hey, how about making it light? And he saw a way to make it light and bigger with this XL. This does fit nicely in the pocket. That'll be in a Chris Reeve sheath that, came, that it came in. But this is just really nice. Fits the hand perfect, this XL. He also has a real nice frame lock. And you can adjust it. You can you can adjust it for whatever kind of lockup you want. You can replace it. You see those two, there's two screws there. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. This is the Silent Soldier Folder XL from Browse Blades. Go check them out. You know, there are, oh, there's one knife I, I can't find. It's a real creative knife. I don't even know the name of it now. It's so nice. And when I look it up, it's always sold out. I have to find it. His last six or seven knives, he's really been working that business, which is great. His collaborations and working with a lot of people. I haven't been able to catch up with all of his knives like I did in the early days since I started investing a lot in Chris Reeve and of course, uh, Spydeco and other things, but I need to catch up with that. You should check him out. I really like his work. That is it. Uh, the blade steel D2. He loves D2. And that blade right there is a three inch blade. Just a nice knife. Go check it out. There you have it. That's what I'm filling my pockets with as I finally get out of this house of frustration. <laughs> I made it frustrating. <laughs> Just fail, fail, fail. But that's okay. It's the weekend, right? Now I'm going to smoke and drink and have good company. I've already posted this on Instagram. Uh, go check it out at Keith Kevin Ken. Don't forget. Don't forget to thumb this up. Let me know that you're still out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
as well. Of course, this is what we put. And by the way, the subscribe button, we reached 100. I'm going to start filming starting tomorrow. I'm going to start filming all of the Spydeco collection. We're going to use this same setup. And then um, that is a, whew, we, we did that because we reached 1,000. Now we're on to 2,000. Once we hit 2,000, we're going to go through all the Browse Blade knives and all of the other knives that I have. And we're also going to do a really nice uh, Spydeco giveaway. One sprint run knife and another very well-known knife. New in the box, only opened and, and photographed. That's it, never carry. This is not the knife that got away. See what I'm talking about? That's not the knife. <laughs> this is the knife that I took down to the guys. This was my new knife. Uh, I picked up the wrong knife. Can you believe that? Uh, that's okay. Uh, that was my very first, this is my very first Todd Begg Bodega. This is the Bodega 2.0 version. 2.0 version is just a little thinner. These are custom and of course custom eh, close to, these are as close to custom as you can get uh, from Todd Begg these days without a, about a five year wait. These are the new um, Bodegas with the etched inlays all titanium etched inlays this one was the first one that i got last week the dragon lady number 11. they're limited edition and he's numbering them according to the print so this is the number 11 knife with the uh uh inlay of the dragon lady and this is the one that i just got in yesterday i think i showed it briefly to you guys uh, I, I put it in my pocket when I went downstairs and showed the guys and they just went crazy. Just like I've gone crazy. Again, it's the Bodega 2.0. It's custom. This is titanium. Um, and, and it's, it's nice, like tumbled, almost acid, um, washed, tumbled titanium Inside is stainless steel insert, and then this is called the Norse, and this is number 14. This comes out of a tattoo drawing, and then it's lasered in. Of course, just like all the other bodegas, you have that crushed ice around the pivot. Oh, it's so nice. This is just really nice. This one has the compound... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The compound grind on it instead of what you're used to seeing with uh, a Todd Begg. N690 steel. I love it. Look at it. Acid stone washed around with the smooth. I always say I don't like coated blades. Hey, I like this one. I just like how he handled it. It's really funny, you know. Uh, this... <laughs> Best flipping knives I've ever had. This is a very nice knife. My first Todd Bay. Ah, very nice. And then I got this. I got this one from Blade HQ. I got this one directly from him. Listen. Oh, shoot. I just, man, I'm going to ruin this thing. Let me sit this down. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm sweating like crazy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And I looked at it and I turned it over and went, where's the IKBS? You know, I, I see that I have a ceramic ball on this wonderful oh, crushed ice um, clip, Todd Bag special clip that just fits oh, like butter in the pocket. But the ceramic says, hey, this has ceramic bearings, IKBS bearings. I'm like, there's no IKBS. You know, usually you have that IKBS uh, requirement where you see it on the blade. This one doesn't. And then I saw this. You see that? Ah, of course, I can't focus on it. Yeah, it's the IKBS logo right there. It says, you're okay, Kevin. That's why it flips so nice. You have the ceramic detent and you have <laughs> the ceramic 
bearings. And that's why, oh man, it just falls. In. Ah, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> it's just perfect, folks. I love it. Not only does it have, you know, it has that wonderful backspacer, which I love. It has that crushed ice right here at the top. It has the titanium that's been jeweled out. And then he goes back to the rough titanium in the bottom, which I really adore. He also does kind of like a, almost a crushed ice treatment on the bottom half of the titanium, this lock half. Now, the one thing about all the Todd Bag bodegas, you see these five screws? Well, if you take off these bottom three, this whole segment and the lock bar will be removed. So you could send it in and get it replaced and put right back, which I just think is so creative. But do you notice the different treatment he did here? <laughs> and that's why we're talking custom. He gets these back and just does this wonderful stuff. He doesn't just go, okay, so we're gonna do, you know, the black treatment on the titanium. Then he does kind of a crushed ice treatment. See the bottom part? All through there on the lock bar. It's just wonderful. He does it on the flipper. <laughs> he does the treatment up here. You can't see it. Ah! Once I learned that thing, it's so clear. He does it here on the blade as well. I mean, my God. Goodness gracious. Yes, guys, I keep missing the flipper. Trust me, it's not him. I'm sweating. I can't put on the air conditioner because everyone, of course, turned to heat and it's hot in here. Ah, this is the Norse, guys. This is the Bodega 2.0. My little lady was getting lonely and so I went for another one. You know, I'm not known for... <laughs> not going for it. So I went for it. I'm so happy. Someone said, so is it all customs now? Of course it's not. <laughs> you crazy? Not with all the other knives I have. I just have about five customs, but I'm falling in love with this bodega. I have fell in love with both of them and I'm so fortunate to have them both. That is it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it's so late. Sorry I'm like dragging a little today. I wanted success with the camera, so I'm still working on it. Um, I won't give up. I'm going to learn about it, download a book on it, and going to take a lot of shots. I hope you guys have a perfect, perfect day. Guess what? I'll be back tomorrow. I will. And we're going to start doing our Spydeco uh, Pelosa. Sorry for the delay. It's going to be this setup. I'll see how I can tweak it, and I'll continue to figure out what kind of layout I need for the better camera. You guys have a perfect day. Goodbye.